Stephanie, congratulations. Thank you for letting us be a part of your celebration today. It has been great to be able to share this anniversary date with y'all uh, and all the great times we have had. The sharing from church to raising kids to traveling and this being there for each other. We have seen us go from young early couples with young children to very, very mature, and I'm not gonna say old, couples with grandchildren these 40 years we have known y'all have been great and we're looking forward to many, many more. Again, congratulations on your 50th. And I'm gonna drink mine first so I won't be nervous. Hello there, Stephanie and Carl. How wonderful to be able to celebrate your golden anniversary. It has been a journey of for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health. God created the sacrament of marriage in the Garden of Eden, and He knew, even back then, that you were celebrating 50 years of union today. How awesome is that? Howard and I have been blessed abundantly by your friendship, and it is our prayer that you will have many, many more wonderful experiences in the days ahead. We love you, and God bless. Salud! <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Stephanie and Carl, on your 50th wedding anniversary. We're so happy that we moved to Uvalde and met such wonderful people like you. You've been an inspiration and a blessing for us. I thank God every day for surrounding me with good people, and you're part of it. So have a nice anniversary. God Congratulations. Bless. God bless. Love you both. Bye. Happy anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary. Happy golden anniversary. We both wish you, wish you a wonderful year, a wonderful celebration, and know how much this gathering means to everyone. You've done an awful lot over the last 50 years. A lot's been accomplished. Your family tree has just kept growing and growing and growing. And the roots of that tree continue to grow for many, many years to come. And thank you for all the love that you've given to Dwayne and the friendship and support uh, for 50 years plus is something that I really appreciate from both of you. Happy anniversary. Carl, remember as we were growing up on Primrose Street, uh, and your parents were on one end and mine were on the other, uh, made us uh, cousins from just down the street. And it was a lot of good memories back then. Uh, later when uh, you went away to the armed forces and became a paratrooper, uh, um, Stephanie uh, was going to the Newman Center at Lamar and uh, often she would ask for a ride and, and we would end up at her parents. And there was a lot of music, a lot of singing and guitar playing. Uh, we really had a good group started and later really grew. You're both very unique, artistic, talented, educated, skilled, spiritual. Catching up, catching up with it, enough with it, enough with it, enough with it, enough with it, I think. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. Just saying all the things that you both are 
um, very, very good children to your parents, very good parents to your children, loyal and faithful friends. We can't wish you enough love and blessings on this very special day. And this group that got together became the gang. Uh, so uh, you've done an awful lot to keep us all together. Happy anniversary. My favorite memory with Mimi and Pop would probably be when we went to Hades Crossing. It was so much fun. We had a blast. Happy Golden Wedding Anniversary, Steph and Carl. We wish we could be there with you. We're here in Nevada celebrating Thanksgiving with Annie and her family. Uh, their oldest daughter turned 16 over Thanksgiving weekend. And, you know, we just want to send you all of our love and best wishes on your very special day. 50 years of sacramental marriage. That's wonderful. What a model you are, and you always have been to all of us. You know, remember what they said on our wedding day, true love can make it a joy? Well, the two of you are a perfect example of true joy and what that can bring whenever you love each other. You know, um, Joe and I can't think of the two of you without seeing your smiles and seeing that sparkle in your eyes whenever you look at each other and the oneness that you have. And it's really a sign to all of us of how much God loves us in the way the two of you love each other. So thank you for that. Stephanie and Carl, we are so grateful to God for our friendship that we've had with you for all these years. Oh, that's so true. It's just been, it's, it's wonderful. You know, it must time. be just a little like what heaven must be like whenever we all get together. And uh, I just know it is. And uh, we've had so many wonderful memories together, and I, I hope we have a lot more, too. Oh, yes, and God bless both of you. And, and, you know, we think that right now probably the best thing we could do is attempt to sing a very special blessing to the two of you. Now, we're definitely not the Uvalde Church Choir, but here goes. May the blessings of God be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son. And may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, be with you all your days. God bless the two of you. We, we love, love you. you. Big hug. Happy anniversary. Happy 50th anniversary! We just wanted to tell you happy anniversary and congratulations on 50 years. That is a huge, huge accomplishment. Not many people do that. So uh, we're very, very honored to know you and to be around you and see your family and just see this wonderful marriage and, and life that you have built together. And we're so glad to have known you. I guess um, I don't have a first memory of you or a one that stands out other than the fact that I've known you almost my whole life and y'all have always been an inspiration and I love you so, so very much. The biggest impact I think that I would say that both of you have on our lives is that uh, 
you both are always so happy and, and Stephanie, I always see you with a smile on your face and that always, it always transcends from, from you to me, it always puts me in a good mood. So I appreciate all your happiness that has uh, worn off of you and Carl and uh, you, you both are such an inspiration to us. So once Thank again, we wish you a happy 50th, 50th, 50th wedding anniversary. Bye. Bye. Hey, Mimi and Papa, we love y'all so much. Mimi say love you. Love you. Ah. <laughs> We love you so much. Congratulations on making it to 50 years. That's so awesome. Um, I'm so proud to be a part of the Gager family and the legacy of family and love and marriage that y'all have um, shown us. Uh, I just, it's its such an honor to be a part of this family and, and to, <laughs> and to um, continue to, to watch y'all grow in marriage and in love and um, it's just so inspiring. So we love you. We're, we're very wiggly over here right now. <laughs> but we love y'all so much. And we're sorry that we won't be able to be there to celebrate with you this year. But um, we hope to make it down to Uvalde soon and, uh, and celebrate with y'all um, on our own. Love y'all. Hey, you two gaugers. This is Becky Gertis, as you know. And I really don't like doing this. And I only do stuff like this for people that I love. And y'all know that I love you. And I can't really think of a particular incident that is uh, outstanding in my mind as far as memories of y'all, but y'all always brighten my day when I see you. And like I've always said, Stephanie, when I grow up, I want to be like you in so many ways. And um, y'all are such an example to so many people. And um, so many people love you. You've touched so many lives. And I just can't thank you enough for how you touched my family and how, how we love you. And we hope and pray that y'all have many more happy years together and can't wait to celebrate with you. Oh, and um, my husband, you know, I don't like doing this, but he just almost refuses. So this is from both of us. Just know that he thinks a lot of y'all too. He wishes y'all the best in your years to come, and we love you, and we will see you soon. Uncle, Uncle Carl, Aunt Stephanie, happy 50th happy wedding anniversary. So we wanted to share our favorite memory with you. My personal favorite memory was uh, the two years that I lived in Uvalde. What incredible memories that I have um, from riding to school in the morning, listening to Paul Harvey with Uncle yeah, Carl, yeah, to being in the, yeah, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the play. There's Reagan. Same There's Reagan's Reagan. favorite memory. And um, <laughs> that's my personal favorite memory. And my personal favorite memory is when we came to Concan. <laughs> sorry, sorry, malfunction. Um, toddler malfunction. We when we came to Concan and we for the first time is when I when I met you guys I got to spend time with y'all and we went and bought the the hats and I got my pink hat with you. Um, and Uncle Carl, that was, it was a nice road trip. And it the, was and fun. The trip was so much fun. That was my that was my most favorite memory. And so m my life has been impacted by by you guys in so many positive ways. And so just by having kids, um, the last you know few years, I realized what a gift that is. And so that's helped me. That's reminded me of what a gift you guys are in my life. And um, having a marriage like you guys have has provided a good blueprint and a role model. For me and my wife and so I just want to thank you for that and that's one of the most impactful things with this video I only have so long to, to talk so anyway I love you guys and I, I love you guys so very much and the mo I mean you guys have impacted my life in many many ways um, <laughs> um, I just love you both so very much you mean the world to me and I just appreciate your love and support always Happy 50th anniversary. Happy 50th. Love, Love you guys. Merry Christmas. I mean, happy birthday. I mean, happy anniversary. Oh, got it right. Oh, man. 50 years. That's longer than I have been alive. You guys are old. Just kidding. Well, not, but anyways, uh, I think the question on the video was talking about what are what is your favorite memory or what is your fondest memory of uh, Carl and Stephanie Gager um, and I can honestly say I don't think I can narrow that down into one memory uh, that's difficult um, 
and and it's and it's unfortunate because I have so many memories, so many good ones. Um, if if I can narrow it down in, into a time, I'd just say one of the summers that I spent at, <laughs> spent at your house. Um, so often I'll think back to those and just grin and just uh, remember and talk about and just relive those times in my mind and uh, share with other people and it's always it's always such a blessing and a gift to go back to those times um there's a lot that i learned there there was way too much fun that i had there um <laughs> a lot of laughs shared a lot of card games played a lot of other stuff that will never be talked about and all of the above <laughs> i guess um so happy 50th anniversary to you mimi and pop uh, i love you both dearly um, and 50 more! <laughs> Just kidding. Bye! Stephanie and Carl, when I think of your marriage, I think of the times when I've seen you all, even though you were in public, exchange looks that showed that you had a great deal of care and commitment for each other. Doctor, uh, Father John Ricardo says in one of his homilies, that a Catholic can expect four things from a marriage. They can expect permanence, they can expect faithfulness, they can expect fruitfulness, and they can expect partnership. And when I think of your marriage, I think you so exemplify these four things that are the foundation of a Catholic marriage. So on this, your 50th, wedding anniversary. I congratulate you for yourselves, for your children, and for the example that you set for us. So God bless you. Well, hello, Mom and Dad. Happy, happy 50th anniversary. That is five decades. That's half a century. That's amazing. Um, that is a feat to be celebrated in any, hist any point in history but especially in today's day and age. Um, it's something you don't see often and it's truly a marvel. And we celebrate uh, this great uh, miracle and blessing um, and effort today. And so thank you uh, for that legacy. We've only got a minute or so to tell you um, all the good you've done in our lifetimes. So I'll try to hurry. Um, thank you for the gift of marriage. Thank you for the heritage. Thank you for the covering. Uh, Darren and I celebrate 28 years this week on the 26th and um, are so grateful. Uh, and we ascribe uh, that success, A, to the Lord, but also to both sets of parents who um, stayed married all the way, all the way till the Lord called them home. So thank you. Uh, number two, um, the scripture that rings the most true to me and always has is be given to hospitality. Um, it's emblazoned on my heart and I believe that has a lot. To do with the fact that I have watched you model that my lifetime. I've never seen you turn anybody away or meet a stranger. Um, I've seen you give out of your little and out of your plenty, lavishly and to anyone in need. Without a second thought, um, your, your first and only thought has always been, eh, there's more where that came from. Why? Because it's true. There's more where that came from. Our God's never-ending supply. And you have been proof of that. Um, and uh, you continue to demonstrate that even with your creativity and continuing to um, give out of the depths of what's in you in addition to the wellspring of life around you. So thank you for that heritage. Thank you for that legacy. I'm over time. God bless you. Happy anniversary. Bye. Hey, you two. I just wanted to say congratulations on 50 years of marriage. That is quite the accomplishment. You guys should be very, very proud. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for setting such a great example for me personally, and really for the rest of the family. And just how you guys uh, serve each other, how you love each other through thick and thin, how you create art together, how you laugh together, and really just how you get through all of life's challenges together. The uh, scripture that I picked.
anniversary, Carl and Steph. A little entertainment for your celebration. Strumming my guitar and singing out of tune. That you are hoping this will end up soon. We will leave the music and sing to the two y'all. Yes, absolutely. Carl, a man dedicated to this country, who has a great sense of humor, loves listening to Sirius XM, has a strong voice. When Carl is strumming, I love to look at Stephanie's eyes. They are just a glow with pride and love. Together, you help us all harmonize. During the last 50 years, your lives may have not always been on a smooth road, but having the faith in God at the center of your life have made it less of a rocky road. We look at your children and your grandchildren and their successes. And Steph, one time you mentioned to me that you thought you couldn't see how they all turned out so successful. Well, Alan and I can. With God at the center of your lives and the love that you two share, you're leaving a beautiful legacy to your children. It reminds us of that beautiful song, Find Us Faithful. Bear with me as I just read a few of the words that we see exemplified in you two. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion like their way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe, and the lives we live inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. We find you faithful. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary from the Grants. Happy anniversary. Sorry we can't be there in person to help you celebrate, but we're definitely there in spirit. Congratulations on 50 wonderful years, and thanks for such a great example. We love you. Congratulations on this special, special occasion. And y'all have fun. Bye-bye. Hi, Carl and Stephanie. Well, I guess I was really fortunate. <laughs> I was really fortunate uh, to watch your love story there for your dating days, watching how much fun you had together. I was there for the engagement and watching the excitement that both of you had. And uh, it's definitely you showing me the ring and just, you were just so happy. And then I remember the wedding, um, you asking me to be a bridesmaid and how honored I was.
your life was was beautiful music and so happy 50th anniversary congratulations guys isn't she beautiful hello mom and dad happy anniversary it's quite an honor to be able to uh, do this little video for you two and a celebration for your 50th wedding anniversary so thinking through all the memories of having Carl and Stephanie Danger as my mom and dad um, the one thing that stands out the most is, uh, is how I got to experience watching the two of you, how, how you treated other people, and how you cared for other people, and how you loved other people, and your respect for people. Um, whether it was our friends uh, from Mexico staying at the house over the years growing up, or just the people in Uvalde, or extended family, or uh, it, it all had a big impact on me and, and how I live my life. I appreciate that so much. I love you, Mom and Dad. Being you are as a couple, Thank you for the wonderful uh, summers we had together with, at the Blue Hole and the uh, Riddles and Johnsons and everyone. And I thank you for um, how, how much y'all love your know, grandchildren. It makes me happy. Y'all love to talk to us. Happy anniversary! Love you. You're the best. You're the Carl and Stephanie. First, I want to thank uh, the lovely children for um, inviting me to be a part of this tribute to you guys. I just couldn't be more honored. Um, I had to think about it. My goodness, 50 years of marriage. I think that's awesome. And to think that um, I've known you 40 of those years, and that's even more awesome. Um, I can still remember uh, when you walked into our lives, bought our house, and and you're still there. Um, I think somewhere, at some point, sometime, uh, running back and forth to town with the kids in school, things are getting a little rough, and, and you know, we thought about selling um, out there, um, but uh, Kenneth wrote you a letter. I'm not exactly sure what was in the letter, but, uh, but whatever, uh, whatever he said to you uh, must have had some kind of impact because uh, you changed your mind, you decided to stay, and you're still there uh, today. So uh, I, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty I, that's pretty neat. So then, uh, Carl, um, thank you for putting up with my um, lack of golf sense. Uh, I appreciate so much you uh, trying to help me understand the difference between a tee and a green because at that time I didn't know uh, I didn't know a thing. And Stephanie, you just uh, you're just <laughs> so much fun to be around. You're so energetic, and both of you, you're just two of my favorite people. Um, and I just, I, I love you all so much, and I'm just so proud to call you uh, my friends, and I just uh, wish you the very, very, very happiest of anniversaries, and I hope there's plenty more um, to come, and um, you guys, this is for you. Whoa, and a big kiss. Love you guys. Hey, hey, you ready? Ready? One two three happy anniversary mimi and papa hey aunt stephanie Uncle carl we want to wish y'all a wonderful and happy 50th anniversary Woohoo! Woo <laughs> bye <laughs> um we want to sit and, and make this uh video together because uh especially dustin and heather for the last 11 years of and, and 10 years for Dustin have experienced uh, the wonderful memories, but mine go back all the way uh, when I was much younger than Dustin is now. Uh, all of our family reunions, all of our uh, trips down the river that we had, uh, but uh, what an impact y'all have had on, on my life and then our lives. So once again, happy anniversary. We love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah.
anniversary. anniversary. Paul and Steph. We love you. Hey Mimi and Pop, it is me again in here. I just wanted to wish y'all a happy 50th wedding anniversary. Wow, 50 years. Um, that's fantastic. Um, I'm super proud of you guys and both of y'all are some of the most amazing people in my life. And um, I cherish every moment I have with y'all. Um, and so I wanted to share with y'all some of my fondest memories. Um, and I mean the first, uh, the first being spending an entire summer with you two. Um, with Andrew and Garrison as well, um, giving us that opportunity to spend quality time with our grandparents um, is definitely a blessing. A lot of young men and, um, get to do that. Um, I mean, Mimi waking up early in the morning to fix his coffee, uh, bring his coffee in bed. Um, you know, French toast, still some of the most amazing French toast that I've ever had in my entire life. Um, and then Pop taking us out to his warehouse do some woodworking to make a table or um, you know make a knife a wood knife um, I really enjoyed that and I loved that um, being able to spend that time with y'all um, and I want my grandchildren to be able to have that same kind of time with my parents as well and uh, being able to to do that um, really showed me the importance of family um, and spending time with you know, elders that are a part of your life um, and I miss all of that um, but anyways I can't wait to see y'all I uh, just really quick wanted to wish y'all happy and thank you for your I love y'all a ton have a blessed day um, and I'll see y'all later happy wedding anniversary Mimi and Pop 50 years what an incredible achievement I'm so proud of you guys I'm so glad y'all get to say that not many people do and I'm thrilled that I get to say my grandparents have been married for 50, happily married for 50 years. I can't pinpoint one favorite memory that rises above the rest. What I can give you is a list of my favorite things to do when I'm with each of you. I love cooking with Mimi, all the Italian food, the pesto, the stuffed peppers. I love woodworking with Pop in his shop, learning all of his tricks absorbing all that woodworking wisdom and skill that he has. I love playing and beating you guys at Scrabble. I love playing Cardinal Mexican Train. I love being with you guys. I love singing for you guys. I love the way you get all excited when we're around and we're doing our thing. I love you guys. Y'all are the best. Happy wedding anniversary. So proud of you guys. I love you both. Stephanie Carl, happy 50th wedding anniversary. Where have the years gone? So fast. What a ride. Bill's been around for 35 of those years with y'all. I've been around for all 50. Of course, you, Steph, have been around for all 71 of your years. 71 and a half of you now, almost. Um, anyway, I hope, like Papa, you'll say, I'm starting my next 50. Hope it's a great day. Hope we have a lot of good memories and many more years together. Happy anniversary. I didn't know that you could give up being a beep beep for Lynn. That was a good one, Pop. It was enlightened on that one. Um, I think I was going to pick one thing that was the biggest thing that I've learned from you. It would be that even though you can work hard, you can play hard, you can love people well, you can try your hardest, you can, you can do anything. At the end of the day, what makes someone a, a successful human, what makes someone a good person, is that you don't stop growing, you don't stop changing, you don't stop living. Happy anniversary, Thank you. Hey, Carl, Stephanie, happy 50th anniversary. relationship over the past 14 years has really influenced my family and me and my marriage and so many things and it's meant a lot to me to have your friendship over the past 14 years so I wanted to try and sum up just some of the things that you've you've done
done for our family. Um, Stephanie has been confirmation sponsored for two of our three children, for William and Delaney. And um, also, I just want to tell you that when I first came to Uvalde and first started singing with the choir, I didn't know who belonged to who as far as who was married to who because we whom and um but during the sign of peace I would always see how Stephanie would walk over to Carl or Carl would walk over to Stephanie and they would kiss and look at each other and and that always impressed me because it was so meaningful it, it was so obvious the love that you had for each other and and I always remembered that and I wanted to just tell you that um, over the years now I think that sometimes the kiss meant um, reconciliation maybe for fussing at each other or Carl might be thanking Stephanie for allowing him to play golf right after church and and but it still was a true sign of peace and I that made an impression on me. The other thing is um, I just wanted to say that we've been part of your family. You've allowed us to become part of your extended family. I know your children and your grandchildren and maybe I'll get to know your great grandchildren and I've become part of your extended family. That's been huge for me because I have no family here and other than just our immediate family. So that's been huge for me and for my children and for Daniel. And I thank you for that. 50 years ago, two perfect people did not say I do at the altar. Um, in those days, there was no e-harmony to determine compatibility. But you all were willing to participate in God's plan for your marriage. And you were willing to say yes to what God could do in a sacramental bond. And because of that, you've produced children, grandchildren, grandchildren. And for that, it shows God's endless example and your faithfulness to each other and your faithfulness to uh, to growing that's the biggest thing for me because I don't ever want to stop growing and my husband doesn't and we don't
remember. You're sorry. I'm not supposed to be talking because you're actually in bed right over there. And Carl, we are sending you this video to say congratulations, happy 50th. You are an amazing example of a marriage that has um, been strong and has flourished and have amazing, beautiful children and grandchildren to show for it. And we can't wait to do what you've done and many, many more years and happiness to you both. We love you very, very much. And happy anniversary! Hi, Nini and Papa. I am so, so very sorry I couldn't make it uh, for the for y'all's anniversary um, and for the family reunion. It was just really expensive. The plane tickets were, but anyway, um, wanted to wish y'all a happy 50th wedding anniversary. Um, I'm so glad I have you two as my grandparents. Um, one of the one of my most favorite memories. With, uh, with Mimi is whenever we were still living in the Longview house and I've been thinking about this actually quite frequently and I have a, a photo of it but Mimi would always come or not always but very frequently Mimi would visit us at the, in the house um, in Longview and uh, whenever I was probably I don't know 10, 11, maybe 12 um, I have a picture of her throwing a baseball to me as I was batting it um, she, Mimi, you would always just play with the grandkids and do your best to get to know them and have fun with them. Um, and that's, that's I, I really hold that dear to my heart and that really blesses me. Um, Papa, your woodwork and everything you do whenever it comes to art really inspires me. Um, I absolutely love Finnish woodwork um, and art. And Mimi, you too. You're you're trying to painting. It really inspires me to see what else I can do whenever it comes to my artistic abilities, painting, um, woodwork, and stuff like that. So anyway, um, thank you all so very much for everything you've done for just blessing so many people in your lives um, and throughout these 50 years of marriage that y'all have, uh, they all have had together. Um, I love you all so much. Can't wait to see you again. Happy anniversary, Carl and Stephanie. Love you.